Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for our postpartum meditation and pelvic floor activation exercises. So the wonderful thing about pelvic floor activation and meditation is that it is entirely safe for you to do in your postpartum journey when you're first entering that trimester four of your pregnancy, of your postpartum journey. So this is wonderful to do within the first week of your journey coming out of the hospital after you have had your delivery, whichever delivery that might be, whether it's vaginal or C-section. So I'm going to take you through some importance of our pelvic floor and why it's important to activate and move our breath into this space. Wonderful for just calming the nervous system down, connecting with your womb space, your body, and also allowing you to build back that strength after you've had your baby. So with all of that said, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed, and of course, follow me on Instagram. I share lots on there. You'll get all the notifications on when new videos come out. So let's dive into today's video. So starting out our class today, you can find a comfortable seated position. If you wanna sit onto a bolster like I'm sitting onto, you can have that below your seat. Of course, new moms, if you'd like to have any support, whether it's your donut or a pillow or whatever cushioning you can have to kind of allow some space into the pelvic floor. So just finding a nice comfortable position, whatever that is for you. So we're sitting however works best and just sitting nice and tall with our spine. So we'll come into finding our breath and working into some pelvic floor activation here. So sitting nice and tall, imagine that a string is drawing you up from the crown of your head, lifting your spine towards the ceiling. So we're really finding some length, some activation, movement into our torso, into our spine. As we move in through our postpartum journey, there's a lot of changes happening in the abdominal region. A lot of stuff that has shifted, things are starting to kind of reset. So whatever, journey you're on wherever you are in this. We're just taking a breath in, filling up, and exhaling out the mouth. Just let the breath out, let the shoulders drop down the back. And find another inhale, breathing in, filling up, and find that big exhale out the mouth. Shoulders drop down the back, letting go of any expectation of yourself here. And we'll find one more of those big inhale in, breathing in. And find that exhale to breathe out, let the breath go. So just keeping the eyes closed if that's safe and comfortable. And we're just allowing ourselves to settle here into the space on our mat on the floor, wherever you're sitting. And just starting to notice how you're feeling. Noticing where the mind is, where the thoughts are. Just continuing to breathe in and breathe out. Nice and gradual, so we're not forcing the breath. We're not doing anything fancy here, we're just breathing. Just feeling the body. feeling? Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Are you joyful? Whatever it is, good or bad, doesn't matter. We're just here with ourselves, just accepting what's going on. You don't have to feel good. You can feel tired. You can feel exhausted. That's okay. We're honoring our journey, honoring where we are. Allow yourself to just be in this feeling. Be with yourself, your true self. Letting the breath come in and out. Letting go of any tension or gripping into our jaw, any scrunching in the face. Letting the jaw soften, 
Feeling the skin around your eyes heavy. Just sending that breath into those tight areas, those tension spots. What can you let go of as we find our breath, as we just breathe here? From here, allowing some movement into the fingers. I'm just gonna bring our hands onto our belly. So holding on to either side of the torso. So just gently below your ribs, kind of right into that belly button area. So just pressing your hands into your belly. So finding a breath in and exhale out. So just noticing our body here, noticing how we're feeling in our abdomen. Maybe you're only a couple of days postpartum as you're watching this video. Or maybe you're a little further along. So just feeling our belly, letting go of any judgment or expectation of our physical body here. Knowing that you don't have to be anywhere but right here, just feeling appreciation for your body, holding your belly that created this beautiful little human that you get to call your own. Take one more breath in to feel that positive love for yourself. And exhale out. Let go of anything that's negative or self-hurting. Just breathe it out. From here, we'll slide the hands down onto our thighs, just gently resting them into the lap. So as we start to move down into awareness of our pelvic floor, so you can rest the hands just onto the legs or into the lap. And starting to bring our awareness into our pelvic floor. So when we talk about pelvic floor, we're talking about the muscles in our pelvic floor. So you can imagine that little hammock of muscles from the pubic bone to the tailbone, and then from each hip. So that little diamond shape right in that space. So we're just bringing some awareness into this space. So this might be something very new for you if you haven't done any of um, my prenatal yoga or any prenatal training at all. So just bringing that awareness in, feeling that space, that connection. So this is a wonderful support of muscles that holds up our entire pelvic floor and our entire pelvic organs as well. So our pelvic floor muscles support our bladder, our uterus, our bowel, our ovaries, our intestinal organs, everything that is suspended above the pelvic floor, it's supporting. That's why our pelvic floor lifts are so wonderful to do in prenatal and postpartum, but also every day of your life as a woman. So we're just bringing that awareness in, feeling that space, if you'd like to, you can always bring your hands onto that space if it helps you to connect a little bit more to it. So we're just taking a breath in, tuning into your womb space, the area that has brought life, this area that holds your fertility, holds your womanhood. Just breathing into it, noticing it. And from here, we'll start to find a few activations through pelvic floor. So when we talk about our pelvic floor, it's so equally important to find activation and lift, but it's also very important to find softening and releasing down. So down training, they call it. So as we take an inhale in, we're gonna breathe in and find an exhale out the mouth. Let the breath go. So as we inhale, feeling the sensation of your pelvic floor. So just finding that awareness on the inhale. 
And then on our exhale, what we're gonna do is find an activation and lift up. So you can imagine that you're drawing up, lifting up, sucking up through a straw, maybe closing the flower. You could imagine walking up a set of stairs, or maybe the elevator goes up a couple of flights. So finding whatever kind of cue makes sense for you. Some people like the grabbing a tissue and drawing up and kind of trying to pull up a, a Kleenex out of the tissue box. So whatever kind of resonates with you. So as we find inhale in, our pelvic floor softens and down trains and goes down. So you can imagine it pushing downwards, but we're not pushing on it. We're just allowing it to soften, to let go. So almost imagine that the staircase is going down, the escalator is going down, flower is expanding and blooming open as we inhale. And then on our exhale, closing that flower, walking up the staircase, we're finding that lift, that draw. So you can imagine that Kegel movement is what women always get told is a Kegel exercise. So Kegels is more so of a flexion of the pelvic floor muscles, like a contraction. But I want you to think about lifting the pelvic floor. So we're drawing everything up. It's almost like you're drawing it up towards the belly button. So we'll work through a few rounds here together. If it feels a little strange or a little weird, that's okay. You don't need to, to make it perfect the first time. It takes time to train these muscles to work through them. So it's just a journey, just like yoga is, just like motherhood is. So as we find an inhale, allowing the flower to bloom open, to expand, finding that softening. And as you take an exhale, imagine that flower closing, drawing up, squeezing up, lifting your pelvic floor up towards that belly. So these gentle contractions move only in the pelvic floor. So we're not gripping our belly or our abs. We're not squeezing our bum to get everything up. We're just finding that movement just in the pelvic floor muscles. So if I inhale, opening up, expanding the flower. And as you exhale, closing the flower, lifting, drawing, squeezing up. Find an inhale, opening the flower, expanding it open. And as you exhale, closing the flower, lifting, drawing up. Finding that whole activation as you draw up. And just a couple more here. If you need to take a breath in between, you do that. Find an inhale in, elevator comes down. And exhale, elevator starts to lift up those floors. So finding whatever cue resonates with you as you continue to inhale and exhale through these lifts. Taking it at your own pace. Find just two more rounds. Just getting used to that sensation, attuned to the space. Find your last round. And on your next exhale, just releasing all activation, letting go of the pelvic floor. Just returning back to your natural rhythm. And let yourself just settle here, releasing all activation and lift. Just settling in. Finding a big breath in, fill up. And exhale, blow it out the mouth. Let go. You can gently start to find some wiggles into the fingers, the toes. Start to bring your awareness back. And gently open the eyes whenever you're ready. Just bringing your hands to your heart center. You can keep the eyes closed here if you like, or you can have them open. Just gently bowing your head forward, thanking yourself for
for bringing your body here onto the mat and working through these pelvic floor lifts with me. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this practice and that you understand a little bit more about pelvic floor and how important it is to start to um, train and work into this space. So be sure to like this video. You can always subscribe if you like these videos. I have lots of yoga videos and I'm also running different prenatal and postnatal yoga programs that are six to eight week registered classes. So if you're looking for more yoga with me in your prenatal or postpartum journey, you can find that through my Instagram linked up here or on my website, which I will have it linked down below for you guys. Thank you again so much. Wishing you so much love and light on your journey wherever you are in that. Thank you so much from my heart to yours. Namaste.